One of the great new features in Band in a Box 2017 is the fully featured floating mixer. This mixer is available in their full screen, regular, or DAW plugin views, and even shows audio levels with individual and master VU meters. There are also several enhancements to the mixer, which have been applied to the floating and fixed versions. First, let's discuss the basic functionality of the floating mixer. You can open the mixer window by clicking on the mixer tab in the full screen or DAW plugin modes, or by clicking on the button in the top right of the screen in the normal mode. Once the mixer is open, you will see three buttons in the top right of the floating window. The square button will close the floating mixer and reattach it to the interface if you're in the normal view. The minus button will make the mixer window more compact and place it out of the way in the top right corner of your screen. Click the plus button to view the larger window again. The A button will automatically make your mixer compact while your song is playing. The mute and solo functionality has been updated, allowing you to solo multiple tracks when you use the right mouse button. You can also hold down the shift key and use the left mouse button for the same effect. Other tracks are then put in a blue muted state, indicating that they have been silenced but are not selectively muted. You can also remove a track from your soloed group. Once you're done soloing, you can unsolo your tracks in order to remove the blue muted state from the other tracks. Of course, you can still mute tracks selectively, which will activate the usual red mute button. But now Bound in a Box remembers which tracks were selectively muted when you unsolo other tracks, which allows you to consistently keep certain tracks silent. But that's not all. We've also enhanced the piano tab. When you hover over keys, they have an alternate depressed state, and you can trigger different velocities when you click on the keys. Clicking towards the bottom edge of the key produces a louder note, while clicking on the upper part of the key produces a quiet note. And check this out, you can also resize the floating mixer. If you expand the floating mixer, you now get a precision fader for the tone control. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the new mixer enhancements. Have fun!